Hi guys, Yuri here again. Today I'm gonna open this booster box from Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars. I'm actually pretty excited to open this because I have four boxes like this. I'm only going to open this one uh, and the other three I'm gonna keep. But this one had like a bit of a ripped seal. Uh, so I decided to open this one because the seal is broken here. Um, now I'm gonna open it right away. Uh, like you can see, I have opened quite a couple of boxes uh, that we've... It's actually in all the previous videos that we opened one of these, uh, starting with the 151 from Scarlet and Violet right here. Uh, then we opened them in this order. We had the uh, Sword and Shield Lost Origin, Scarlet Violet base set. We had the Paldea Evolved from Scarlet and Violet, and we, then we had the Paradox Rift. <coughs> from Scarlet and Violet as well. Uh, and then we uh, did two trainer boxes. We had the Pokemon Go trainer box. We had the um, Crown Zenith trainer box. Um, and then last time we opened the Silver Tempest booster box. And from all the ones that I've opened, I have at, l I have at least one more. Uh, and also for this one, like I said, I have three more of these. Uh, but I will probably keep those. Let's see what art forms we have in this. Oh, we have a Charizard. We have Arceus, Shaman, Skyform, and then we have um, Whimsicott, I think it is. Um, so, yeah, let's just start by doing all these ones. Uh, well, let me do it like this. So, I will... I told it in the, I told it in the last couple of videos, like... Um, I tend to do one side over another. Uh, let's just take two from this side so we have all the art in, from one side. Okay, so let us start opening these. Um, in the last couple of videos we had some uh, issues with <laughs> my camera overheating. Uh, so let's hope we can finish it before it starts to overheat. Uh, I'm gonna guess that it's also four cards from the back, uh, but I guess I will find out right away when we flip this. It is correct. It is correct, I think. Now we have energy. Uh, w fresh water set, Stormy. Oh, again, it's not focusing. Let us do the focusing thing again. We have Weavile, Bidoof, Electrobuzz. It's, it's shifting the, the, the focus all of the time. Like I said in the last video, I might just switch it to manual focus, actually. Let me try that, actually. Uh, I'm doing this live during the video right now. Um, let us try it like this. This should be okay. This should be okay. Um, <clears throat> let's do it like that. Uh, my f-stop. Perhaps I can put it a bit higher. Uh, and I probably should raise this one a bit. Okay, that should be fine. All right. Okay, so the, the, the focus should be better from now on. We have Chimeco. We have Gibble, Turtwig. Is this, re oh yeah, this is a reverse holo. Uh, Impidimp and a Lapras, a rare. Okay. <clears throat> Just starting off easy, starting off easy. Let's see. I don't know what pulls this box had uh, or or has, but like the brilliant stars one, I had a hard a hard time finding this uh, at 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 a, at a decent price. Like this one definitely was more expensive than the other boxes so far that I've opened. Um, so I don't know. Let's see here. Gloria, Dusclops. We have Stormy. Cast form, throw, shroomish, piplup, turtwig, reverse hollow bidoof, and a hollow lucario. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this I bought four of these because uh, because it was like the best price I found uh, for I mean per box for every box. Uh, it was I paid six hundred euros for. Um, for four booster boxes like this, so 150 for each box, uh, which I 
think is kind of good because uh, it's definitely the cheapest that I have found. I mean, it could be that, let us continue here, Morgrim, we have Claydol, Executor, Cherubi, Sock, Corfish, Golet, Chimeco, Throw, Reverse Hollow, and a Muck. Um, so like in the like in all the videos that I'm doing, when we have repeats, I will just skip, uh, I will not mention them, let's say. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't find them cheaper, or at least including uh, shipment, because I did find some cheaper uh, alternatives on eBay and such, but thing is, most of them came from uh, USA or United Kingdom, uh, and there's uh, import fees as well then. So combine those and it's more expensive than what I got right here. <clears throat> so that's the reason why. We have Crawdont, Ultra Ball, Tropius, Rio, Riolu. Is it Riolu or Riolu? Let me know. Uh, Burmy, <clears throat> Staryu, uh, these toys kind of art. I always like those. Uh, Carablast. Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Weasel, and a Hollow Empoleon. Nice. Really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing, right? There's For some of these boxes, there's definitely cheaper options um, on certain websites. But the thing is, you have to take into account the shipping costs and the import fees. Um, and because I live in Belgium, in Europe, uh, if, it if, it, if it has to come over from America of, or from uh, the United Kingdom, there's import fees. So, yeah. We have Vibrava. We have, yes, okay, this, these are uh, repeats already. Duskull. Farfetched. I like this art, actually. Uh, ex execute. Grimer. Man, this looks more like a muck, I would say. Uh, Sneasel, Reverse Hollow Starmy, and a Morpeko V. That's the first one that we're gonna put in uh, in a sleeve. And I'm gonna put this in a gold sleeve, all these rare cards, because Brilliant Stars, uh, when I think of stars, I mostly think of gold stars, because value of gold stars is higher than silver stars in general, so... That's just my thought process on that. So yeah, I'm always showing these codes. I think it's a lot better right now if I put it on manual focus because we don't lose time uh, to, to have to uh, track focus again. Magma Basin. We have a couple of repeats. Nosepass, Snorrent, Clink, Bedene, Cupchu, Reverse Hollow, Executes, and a War Madame. Why is this a rare card? I mean, it's not because it's not the best Pokemon in game that it's uh, not a rare card. But I mean, so. All right. We have a V Star right there. So, this is probably the most expensive uh, box that I have at this point point in time that I will open. We have Choice Belt, Luxio, Hitmontop, Golet, Cast Form, Chimchar, Baltoy, and Axew, I like this, Reverse Hollow Cleansing Gloves, and ooh, Kingler V Max. Ooh, I like the beard and moustache on it. I actually forgot what the art on this card, I mean, the art on the, on the Pokemon was. I didn't actually Remember, Kingler had this uh, VMAX form. All right, cool. I mean, I set them up right here <laughs> before I put them down there, but whatever. Let's continue like that. So like I said, this is the most expensive booster box that I've opened so far that I own, or that cost me the most, but I do have uh, um, an, evolu an Evolving Skies booster box, but I only have one, so I will not open it. Uh, if I get another one, I might open one of those. Uh, so yeah, but if it's a more expensive booster box, if I only have one, I will keep it um, sealed, uh, at least for now. 
A spirit tomb. Ooh, I like the art on this magmar. And we have a reverse hollow spirit tomb and a clefable. Okay. We're going pretty quickly through these, I think. Let's see here. Now, there are more expensive uh, boxes standing behind there. Uh, definitely the 25th anniversary celebration ultra premium collection box uh, that one cost me a lot more money than all the rest here because um, it's just raised in price so much and I will buy another one but I think I might have be able to buy one cheaper than that uh, float soul we have sigilif patcherisu purloin milkery I forgot about this Pokemon. Uh, Shinx. We have a Reverse Hollow Cheruby and a Drudagon. Dredagon, sorry. I'm always kind of thrown off by the color of the dragon type cards. Because uh, for some reason it, it, it reminds me of the electric uh, type. Because it's yellow. But it's just a little bit darker. So you can definitely distinguish it, but like you can see right here, it's, it's definitely more a darker uh, yellow and it's a bit more towards the green thing. So energy, Marnie's pride, blunder policy. We've had these ones, Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Sneasel, Reverse Hollow, Grothel and uh, Breloom. Okay. So not the craziest pulls so far. Uh, we've had two uh, non-hollow, I mean, uh, two rare cards that were not just regular hollows. All right. Definitely a bit of a slow start today, but that's okay. We have Team Yells, Cheer, Chinchino. Right, cleansing gloves, not the, the normal ones. We have Burmy. Seen this Starly. Ooh, Al Creamy. Now, okay. There goes a slow start. And we have a boss's orders with. Um, I forgot his name. Cyrus. Cyrus. A hollow Cyrus. Let's put this one into a sleeve as well. <clears throat> nice okay okay so we're getting started we're getting started um, apparently I don't know if it's in general from the brilliant stars booster boxes uh, but I've saw I've seen some of these uh, youtubers that open these booster boxes uh, that had like extremely good quality on the brilliant stars cards um, so I wonder if we will have the same luck or if it's in general that way. Uh, we have Stormy. Seen this Halucha, Weasel, Trapinch, a Reverse Hollow Clefable and a Whimsicott V. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting more pulls steadily. So far, so good. Like, first question is, how many rare cards will we pull? And from all those rare cards, will we pull like some secret rares? Oh, I think I had, had two, one too little. Okay, so let's continue. Friends and Galar, Probopass. Okay, we've seen a lot of these. Reverse Hall of a Brava and an Ice Cube. Oh, this is where the Ice Cube is like uh, busted, broken. Huh. Oh, wait, Fusion Strike it said on the top. I haven't noticed it before, but are there... Is that a really exclusive... Wait, let me search. Let me see if we had... 
I didn't notice it before. Did we have cards with the same logo on the top? I don't believe so. I haven't seen one yet. I haven't noticed it before. Let's go through all these. Well, it doesn't seem that way. I mean, does it belong to this set? I mean, it must be. No, it's like, it's the first one that we have like that. Okay, well, I'll just keep this one to the side just because it's from the Fusion Strike. Let's put it right here. Okay, let's continue. So, we lost a bit of time there, but hopefully that didn't influence the technical issues that we sometimes have. Okay. Fusion Strike, because that's, that's a, an, an addition as well. Uh, I thought about buying one of those boxes too, Staravia, Monferno. Gloria, uh, execute we have here, Grimer, we saw this one, Clefairy, Badoof, Reverse Hollow, Gabite, and a Magmortar with the Electivire in the back. Really cool. Okay. Yeah, Fusion Strike is a, is a, has its own booster box, and I was about to buy one of those too. Um, haven't yet, I might. Um, so I wonder, like, does this card belong in that set? What are the chances of, of getting one in these sets? It's, it's, I don't know. Is it normal or is it like uh, an error? I don't know. A pot helmet, uh, acerolas, uh, premonition, premonition, sorry. Let's see here. Mincino, Carablast, Reverse Hollow, the Dene, and a Grim Snarl. Okay. We're going, we're going at a moderate pace here. We have some good pulls, but I think, at least, like I said, I, I said in the last couple of videos as well, like I'm, I'm uh, pretty much a beginner when it comes to opening these, so I don't know uh, exactly which cards are really rare and which ones are not. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bit of a, of a cold, so that's why I might cough from time to time. We have a Vibrava. I don't know if we had that one before. Cup Chew. Shinx. Reverse Hollow Burmy and a Mewtwo. Yeah. Ah, would have been cool if it would have been a Hollow. And so far, I don't think we had any of the box arts, I think. Not yet, not yet. Let's see. Bertic, we have Collapsed Stadium. Let's see here, all repeats. Reverse Hollow Sock and a Hollow, a Hollow, uh, Bibberl, Bibberl, Bibberl. I don't know. <laughs> Let's open this Charizard pack as last of the first half. The promo code. I think we got like kind of lucky with the previous boxes because we got a lot of pulls. Definitely in the Silver Tempest, there were a lot of pulls we had there. I think the most so far, uh, we have Dusclops. Rose, Rose, Roseanne's? Roseanne? Roseanne's backup? Roseanne's backup? I don't know. Uh, not a Chimchar. We have a Reverse Hollow Magma Basin and a Raikou V. Ooh, looks good, looks good. So halfway through, we have five pulls so far, uh, which isn't bad, but it's definitely not the best or the most frequent that we've had uh, so far. Will it make up for the quality of the cards? That's also what I wonder. Because I, I can look for white dots and the symmetry on the cards. But aside from that, I don't really know exactly how to rate cards. Of course, you, you look if it's not bending or so. But like new cards should not have any 
bends, I think. Uh, if they're freshly out of the booster box. Except if you're pulling, if you're pulling too hard by opening them and not being careful, uh, perhaps that could be happening. A reverse hollow Electabuzz and a Lux Ray. All right. Let's see. I don't know. I said in my first videos, I said I'm probably not going to use uh, music on the, on the videos because of copyright issues sometimes. We have hunting gloves, Weavile, a fracture. Um, because, let's see here, we have Reverse Hollow Gloria and an El Creamy uh, regular rare, I think. Um, I said in the first couple of videos that I'm not going to use any music because of the copyrights. And uh, I mean, I had to, I, I would have to use copyright free music for sure. And, but I don't really want to like buy a subscription for copyright free music. Uh, perhaps I can search just on, uh, on the, on the, on what, Final Cut Pro has as it music as its music. Uh, if that's an option, I don't know. Perhaps I can take a look into that. If there's music playing right now, you'll definitely know, of course. If it's <laughs> if it worked out, we have Cafe Master here. Repeats. We have Reverse Hollow Warmer Dam and <laughs> another Warmer Dam, another version. Okay. Like I said, like I'm, I don't have any expectations when I start these boxes, uh, but I can of course uh, compare to the other boxes that we've opened. Uh, and so far, I can definitely say this is probably the slowest uh, start that we that we have. I mean, it's not really the start anymore, but uh, at this point in time, we definitely have the least amount of special cards. Uh, Chinchino. Repeats, repeats, reverse hollow chinchino and a fly gone. Okay. I don't know how many packs we still have left. I think like 10, 11, something like that. I mean, we can still pull some decent things, of course. Uh, it only takes one pack, of course, to have a really amazing pull, but let's see. I mean, you never know if I open another Brilliant Stars booster box, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather keep those sealed because uh, they were a bit more expensive to buy. Because they're probably harder to get. At the, oh my God, we have the Dene Full Art. Yes. Oh, wow, Aluminium V. Well, there's a shift, I think. <laughs> Damn, okay, both of you guys will go in a sleeve, of course. There we go. I don't know, the, the Dene one might be the best pull so far, or perhaps the Al, uh, the Al Creamy maybe, I don't know. Okay, that was a really good pack, I think. And that's because like both of the last cards can be really special, which is cool. You're, you're, you're caught off guard if the first or, or if the second to last if, is a rare card, uh, you're not really expecting to get another one. And, but chances are it is, and we just got that. Um, like I said, I don't know the value of these cards, so I, will, so I always look them up afterwards. Reverse hollow nose pass and a tornadoes. I actually prefer when, when you open the packs that the back of the card is towards the opening. Um, 
because otherwise you, like like now we can always see one of the cards in advanced i'd rather have uh, i'd rather not have that but there's 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 worth things blender policy executor all right all repeats reverse hollow fracture and a hollow mold trace okay i'm thinking was it in the silver temp ah, no, no 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 it was in the um, i think it was in the trainer elite trainer box from uh pokemon go that we had the three birds i think so but i'm not entirely sure i should i i can check it right away actually i'll probably do that after this pack i don't know so far no technical issues so let's hope we can keep it that way Starly, Reverse Hollow, Hunting Gloves, and an S Cavalier. Let's take, I think it's in from this pack actually. Yeah, it was here. The three, the three birds I put into a separate um, holder for the cards. So that was indeed the, the, the Elite Trainer box from Pokemon Go. Uh, okay, so promo code. I think after this one, I might take out the the remaining packs so that we have some space to put the other cards uh, on display. Go, let's go. Okay, we have. Oh, oh, oh! It's almost falling down to the side here. We have a reverse hollow Torkoal and a Mimikyu V Max. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Yes, yeah, perfect to right now take out the remaining cards because then we can see what we can display right here. So actually so far it's going all right. It's going all right. We're uh, we're getting some better pulls than the first half. I mean more pulls, let's say that. More pulls. Because I cannot really be sure until I check it afterwards. Because uh, it's not because a card is rare that is more valuable. Of course, over time it can change, I think. But I guess we'll find out. I don't plan on selling these cards like right away. Because, uh, I mean, they get more expensive over time of course but i i I'm, I'm, i do think uh in time i might try to oh wow <laughs> man this looks real and this is from the single strike uh single strike urshifu v max damn okay that looks like a really rare one and then we have haxorus haxorus is actually my second favorite pokemon uh just after uh rayquaza wow wow let's just admire this card for a minute i don't see any flaws i think i don't know about the symmetry but damn yes i love this Ooh, really good really good all right so Apparently, the second half uh, has more in store for us this time than the first half. That was definitely a cool card. And probably one of the more rare cards. It was not a secret rare. It's not the, the three gold stars, but beautiful, beautiful. We have Grottle, Printplup, Monferma. All three after another. What are the chances, actually? Damn. Carablast. We have a reverse hollow gibble and a clink clang. Oh, and I... <laughs> I had one card two less uh, that I moved to the front of the pack. So far, so good. Let me... Let's hope the camera keeps up until the end. Looks good so far, but... I think it's still at least 10 minutes to go, so it can always change, of course. Definitely 
stressful when we display all the rare cards after the when the when the booster box is empty. Reverse Hollow a Star You and a Lyperd. Like I could go faster in showing all the cards because I can just do it like let me show you. Um, I can of course like open them like this and it goes faster but I think the chances of revealing something early might be high so I have more control like this Thor call double turbo energy we have a reverse hollow grim snarl and a hollow torterra okay Oh, that was a bit messed up. So, and again, if it's if it's first time that you're here, uh, you might notice that there's a lot of like echo uh, on the sound. Um, that's because I'm in my living room recording this, and uh, I don't have a lot of big furniture that can uh, isolate or or acoustically treat the sound so that's why but i have the most amount of space right here to record these Ooh, mimikyu v oh and charizard v what a pack damn okay man <laughs> it, it might end up as one of the best <laughs> booster boxes so far actually man yeah the second half definitely has some nice pulls in them and i mean Chariz charizard is always a great pull, I think, no matter which one you get. Uh, of course, like the value differs, but I think general, in general, Jarizard is one of the most uh, valuable Pokemon to, to have on whatever card, I think. Even the regular Charizard cards are worth keeping, I think. Because they're raising value. I mean, that's that's what I think. I could be wrong, but... That's my, uh, that's what I think. Um, all right. Barry, that's a first. Corefish. We have a reverse holo, Roseanne's backup, and a Heatran. Three more packs to go. I mean, I cannot complain right now. We have, we have a lot of good pulls, I think. Uh, so, oh, that. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. Like, I noticed that the bottom of the packs is like always more easy to open I think it's a the, the, it's like the cards are more sturdy on the down on the bottom side than on the upper side because on the upper side I noticed that uh, they tend to bend more towards the upper side of the cards I don't know why that is uh, but I definitely feel that when I open the packs Cynthia's ambition because it because I started to open the cards on the, from the bottom because I was afraid of damaging the cards and I noticed it was much, much stiffer. Oh, we have the Mewtwo Reverse Hollow. Damn, and we have a Mothem. I, don't, I might actually sleeve the, the, the Mewtwo as well. Mewtwo tends to be a good card as well overall, uh, similarly to the Charizard, um, from what I see at least. I think those are two cards that I mean, almost always have some value uh, and probably are going to uh, raise in value with time. Um, all right, so let's keep going here. Gabite. We're almost there, guys. Duskull, Reverse Hollow Clefairy and another Warmer Dam. The last booster pack of this booster box. Let's see if we get something else, but I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy with the pulls that we've gotten. I think still the most valuable card that I've pulled from all of the boxes is this, um, is this Pikachu gold card. Um, I think from all the cards that I've pulled, the price online is the highest from that one. All right. The last one. A 
Oh, Vaporeon Full Art. What a nice ending. And a Hollow Dust Noir. Damn, that was a good ending. That was a really good ending. Let's put you into a sleeve as well. Uh, like, we didn't really have any super rare cards in the sense that when you look at the stars on the bottom, we didn't have, like, any crazy things happening. Uh, it's all, like, one star. Uh, no two-star cards just yet. It's Yeah, it's all one star, all of them. But I mean, that doesn't mean they're not rare, of course. It's just if there are two or three uh, stars, it's apparently they're more rare, even more. So these are the pulls that we've gotten. Uh, we have the Vaporeon full art. We have Charizard uh, V. We have Morpeko V. We have Kingler V Max. We have Alcremy full art. Whimsicott V. Mimikyu V Max full art. We have Luminion V. We have a Dedene full art. I really like that one. Raikou V. And we have Mimikyu V. And the I think my favorite one from this is the single strike Urshifu V Max. Super nice. Guys, that was this opening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video if you want to see more uh, openings like this. Uh, all of these videos I've done without showing my face because like it's it's all about the Pokemon cards and I had to and I'd have to set up like a second camera It's like double the amount of storage and such, but if you guys would prefer that I mean you can suggest it um, And if you don't like I will just continue it doing like this because it's pretty efficient like the way I'm doing it uh, I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed it guys. See you guys in the next opening Goodbye